Hello, this is going to be a walkthrough of how to install OpenArc on your computer. The setup instructions can be found in the OpenArc GitHub. A link for these instructions will also be provided in the description of the video. You do not have to read through any of this as everything is covered in the video. However, you will find some necessary links on this page. The first step is to install Microsoft Visual Studios. OpenArc is only compatible with Visual Studios 2015. If you already have this installed, please skip this step. Otherwise, you can install this in the Visual Studios website. To ensure that there is no compatibility issues, we recommend to install Visual Studios Community with Update 3. After installing Visual Studios, choose the custom option so you can customize your installation. Make sure that this exact Windows SDK version is checked. The next step is to make sure you have C++ installed in Microsoft Visual Studios. To do this, go into the control panel, programs and features, and select the Microsoft Visual Studios application. Right click and hit change. This will bring you to a page which will allow you to modify your Visual Studios. Under Programming Languages, make sure you check Visual C++ and all of its subcategories. If Visual C++ is already there, then you can skip this step. Next, in order for C++ to work, you will have to install MinGW. The download page will be linked in the description of this video. Then mark MinGW Basebin and MinGW C++ for installation. Then hit apply to install. Next you will have to install CMake. Depending on your computer system, please install the appropriate MSI installer. When installing, it is important that you choose the option to add CMake to the system path. Next, you will need to install Windows SDK 8.1 to run the camera properly. Again, the download link will be posted in the description below.
The next step is to download the PCL library from the link provided in the OpenARC instructions. When installing, make sure you select the option Add PCL to the System Path. You will then need to add the DLL files to the system manually. To do this, you will have to directly open up the environmental variables of your Windows computer and directly edit the system path itself by adding the location of the DLL files. After this, you will have successfully installed the PCL library. To install the OpenArc dependency installer, click on the link specified over here on the GitHub instructions. Then, click into the tab and hit download. The rest of it will be pretty straightforward. The next step is to set up your OpenArc camera. On the instructions page, you can find a link that will give you specific instructions on to how to set up the camera. First, you have to connect the camera to your computer with the Intel RealSense application. You can download the application on their website. However, we will provide a link to the download page in the description of this video. Make sure you download Intel RealSense Viewer.exe from the Intel camera website. After you enter the application, there will be a pop-up asking you if you want to enable frame metadata. Please make sure you press enable. Then make sure your camera is working by checking stereo module and RGB camera. If it seems to be running OK, then you can move on to the next step. To register your camera, open up Registry Editor, a pre-installed window application. In the Registry Editor, navigate through the directories that are highlighted on screen. After you get to the bottom directory, you will now have to locate the instance path of your camera. To do this, go into Device Manager of the Control Panel and locate your camera. Then right click and click Properties. Then select Details and select the option Device Instance Path. Here you will receive a location in which you have to navigate to in your registry editor. Then Go into Global and Device Parameters. You will then see a list of files on the right side. Create a DWORD file and name it Metadata Buffer Size in KB0. Then modify this file and change its value to 5. Then create another DWORD file and name it metadata buffer size in KB1 and do the same thing changing its value to 5. Then repeat this process for the RGB camera. First finding its device instance path and then modifying them through the registry editor.
Then, in your registry editor, navigate to this other directory location, and you will then need to repeat the entire process again. This includes adding the four DWORD files to the camera instance paths. After this, you have successfully registered your camera. The next step is downloading OpenArc from GitHub. To start off, find a location where you can download the OpenArc folder. You can then download OpenArc source code directly from the GitHub. After you download the OpenArc source code, you will have to extract it. The next step is to build OpenArc. In order to do this, you will have to create a build folder in the OpenArc master folder. Then you will need to navigate to where you installed OpenArc and into the build folder in your terminal. After navigating into your build folder, copy this exact command into your terminal. OpenArc will now build. The next step is to build the OpenArc solution file in Visual Studios. Navigate into the build folder and now you should see that the build folder is now filled with files that were installed during the building process. With Visual Studios, open the file that just says OpenArc. Before you build your solution, set the top category from debug to release. Then simply build your solution. If the build was successful, your console should look like this. Inside the OpenArc build folder, you will now see a new folder called release. This directory contains all of the runnable demo projects.
Click on any of the EXE files to run the demo. If the demo works properly, then that indicates that OpenArc is successfully set up on your computer.